Well, thank you for coming today. And you really did bring some super items. Would you tell me what you know about them? Very little, but this is a Tiffany, you know that much. Okay, great. This is Gorham jewelry. Unknown and unknown. You know who that is. So. Okay, so let's look. Look at the little guy. It's a gold pencil, you're right. Mm -hmm. It extends. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ink pen. And you twist it and out comes the pencil. And it's a pencil. Yeah. These were really collectible, not so much anymore. Uh -huh. And sadly, this one is gold, so mm -hmm. the value would be about $750. Well, wow. not that's a good. tremendous amount. No. no, that's right. This bowl is lovely. It's a centerpiece bowl, mm -hmm. pierced, and it has the maker of Tiffany. The mark that's is good. right here, and it's nice. Tiffany manufactured this mm -hmm. as opposed to bought it in. Okay, mm -hmm. that sounds good. And this piece is about $3,500. Oh my. Oh, that's, that's fantastic. And it would be very difficult to replace, and it's from about 1905. And we know that, again, because of the M in the back. Okay. Does the, does the, um, does the stamping, the numbers mean anything? The... It would just be a model and a stock number. Okay. okay. Now this item. This is a lovely little nut ball. Yeah. What would you like to know about this one? Well, I don't know who the manufacturer is, but it, my mother used it up until her death. About this one has a small years. mark. It's a crossed axe mark with double X's. It's by William B. Kerr. William B. Kerr. William K E R R. K E R R. Oh, okay. Newark, New Jersey. Oh, approximately 1890. It uh -huh. is completely stamped and raised by a developed blank method. This oh. is a lovely example of it. That's Probably neat. one of our best American Art Nouveau makers. Absolutely stunning and in excellent condition. Mm -hmm. There's no holes in it. No, no. So that's been that's, the that's good. That's now good. we have this. This is one of those very rare pieces we get to look at. It's in the original box. Mm -hmm. The box was used for display purposes in the store. It would sit up in this manner. Has a small little hinge piece here, so that it could be neatly displayed in the window. Mm -hmm. It's Excellent. it's comprised of amethyst and yep. pearl. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the box says Gorham, and the piece does not say Gorham. Yeah, we, we looked at it and couldn't find any, any notation who the manufacturer But was. it's absolutely right for about 1900. Mm -hmm. Okay. The pearls are natural. Mm -hmm. The amethysts are lovely, deep, dark purple. Mm -hmm. Of course, the amethyst is a favorite stone of Prince Edward. Oh, that's oh, nice. Okay. And <laughs> that's why we're dating it to about 1890, 1900. Okay. This piece, in the box, the way it is, has an approximate value of five thousand dollars. Oh wow, that's fantastic! That's wonderful. Hmm. So if you add them all up, get a bunch of bucks. About ninety-five hundred dollars. Oh wow! Oh, that's nice. Well, thank you so very much. We appreciate I appreciate it. it. Oh, you now I hope we have to figure out who's going to get them. <laughs> but maybe that's the next Family Feud. Yeah. No. But that's another TV show. That's right. another TV show, right? <laughs> okay.